Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good morning. Together with our personal intentions, we also include the following. For the gift of life and birthday intentions of Nendel Endrina, Daniel Ricardo, Chad Gabriel Tanutan, J.V. Criselda, Jed Henrich, Carl Luis, and of Kurt Lawrence. Thanksgiving Mass for the birthday of Jerome Arbutante, offered by Mr. and Mrs. Herfera Arbutante and family. Thanksgiving Mass for answered prayer and blessings received, offered by Neri Antony Quijano. For the healing recovery and good health of Cecilia Batalliones and of Christian Lars. Mass intention for a successful operation of Jennifer Bagaloyos. Offered by Mr. and Mrs. Jerome and Herfera Arbutante and family. Mass intention for a speedy recovery and good health of Maria Hazel Obiso. For the intentions of Angela Fatima Lois, Rene Monique, Joseph, Carl Angelo, John Lester, and of Brian. For the eternal repose of the souls of Cesar Sr. and of M and for the eternal repose of the souls in purgatory. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, look with compassion on our affliction, and so lighten your children's burden and confirm their faith, that they may always trust without hesitation in your fatherly providence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We want you to know, brothers and sisters, of the grace of God that has been given to the churches of Macedonia. For in a severe test of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their profound poverty overflowed in a wealth of generosity on their part. For according to their means, I can testify, and beyond their means spontaneously, they begged us insistently for the favor of taking part in the service of the Holy, Holy Ones. And this not as we expected. But they gave themselves first to the Lord and to us through the will of God, so that we urge Titus that as he had already begun, he should also complete for you this grace act also. Now, as you excel in every respect, in faith, discourse, knowledge, all in earnest and in the love we have for you. May you excel in this gracious act also. I say this not by way of command, but to test the genuineness of your love by your concern for others, for you know the, grace, the gracious act of our Lord Jesus Christ, that for your sake, he became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord, my soul. Blessed he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth the sea, and all that is in them. Praise the Lord, my soul. Who keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects the strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. Please all stand.
The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will, will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. In today's gospel, Jesus continues his Sermon on the Mount, raising the practice of his disciples to a higher level. Not only must they love their neighbors and fellow believers, but also they must love their enemies and those who persecute them for that makes them children of the Father. And our Lord Jesus also tells us to love our enemies so that we may be like the Father. Then we can ask ourselves, then what is the Father like? And this is what Jesus tells us in today's Gospel. God the Father makes His Son rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. The Father of our Lord Jesus is love, and that is all God is. That is all He knows how to do. God is not like us, and stable, and moving from one attitude to another. God simply is love. And in every circumstance, God's grace comes first. And grace is all that he has to give, expressed in love. And this is why the comparison to the sun and the rain is so fitting. The sun doesn't ask who deserves its warmth or its light before it shines. It shines on both the good and bad people. And neither does the rain inquire as to the moral rectitude of those upon whom it showers its life-giving goodness. It just pours on both the just and the unjust people. And how do we express then our love, even to our enemies and those who persecute us? The first way to love them is to pray for them. And what are we going to ask the Lord for those people? We pray that they may find the truth. Live peacefully. Learn also to forgive and be joyful. In other words, we pray for our enemies for their salvation. And praying for one's enemies is suggested by Christ because it will not only bring good towards those we consider as enemies, but also to ourselves. Through this, we also live peacefully and be saved. Slowly, the anger within us and the seeking for revenge will be watered down. In forgiving and praying for our enemies and those who persecute us, we exhibit God's loving mercy. Just like Him, whose sun will shine on both the good and the bad, the bad whose rain will fall on the good and the bad. G.K. Chesterton, an English writer, a philosopher, and a lay theologian once wrote, The Bible tells us to love our neighbors and also to love our enemies, probably because generally they are the same people. 
Let us then pray in this Holy Mass. Lord Jesus, help us to realize that by being at peace with our enemies, we become at peace with ourselves. Amen. We now, we now turn to God the Father for the help that we need to follow the example of Jesus who tells us that we are to love our enemies. Father, gather us in your love. Father, gather us in your love. That the leaders of the church may give witness to the people in the ways of pardon, love, and forgiveness, and so reflect God's holiness to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father gather, gather us in your love. That those who are angry and bitter with their neighbors may realize that giving to feelings of resentment and hatred only separates them from God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father gather, gather us in your love. That families that are divided and torn apart because of indifferences toward one another may discover their former closeness and warmth. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father gather, gather us, us in your love. That the sick may attain the peace of mind which grows from appreciating their special role in joining Christ in his suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father gather us, us in your love. That the dead may share in the peace and happiness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, gather us in your love. God, our Father, you know what is good for us. Rid our hearts of all bitterness and bless our efforts to love all people. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we confidently bring before you, 
and turn, we pray, the bitterness of the sorrow we bear into a sweet and fragrant sacrifice before you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, 
And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the help of Christians, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
spiritual communion. O oh Jesus, I turn toward the holy tabernacle where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O oh my God. I cannot receive you in holy communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it, sanctify it, render it like unto your own. Amen. Cause I wanted something new I wondered what to taste what's life about But my illusions turned up and disappeared And my dreams began to crumble and fall into emptiness But I was deep in your heart and I know it was just too strong for me. You called me back and showed what's life about. For it is deep in your heart where humanity finds dignity. With you, my dreams will crumble and fall into emptiness. For I was deep in your heart, and I know my heart won't find its peace until it finally rests in you. I thought I will be free I gave up my own dignity away But all went empty When my friends left me alone And my dreams began to crumble And fall into emptiness But I was leaving your heart And it was just too strong for me, you called me back and showed what's life about. For it's deep in your heart where humanity finds dignity. With you, my dreams won't crumble and fall into emptiness. But I was deep in your heart, and I know my heart won't find this peace. Until it finally rests in you. Let us pray. We humbly entreat you, Lord, that nourished and fortified by this divine banquet, we may have strength to face future trials with fortitude and to lend more generous help to our brothers and sisters in time of trouble. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you 
the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.